Mr. Random Gamer here, and I'm doing another box opening. This time, the Volcanion EX box. Glad I could bring this to you. I'm glad I could add it to my online collection because its typing goes perfectly with my deck. Which, if no one's ever seen this before, you all probably think this is pretty neat. You probably haven't played the Pokemon game card game that long either. But, um, uh, so hard. He's a dual type. And it's interesting, I don't know. Because he's weak to water, but he's a fire water. So I don't know if that gives him the power of both those types. But even though he's dual type, he really only runs on fire energy. Kind of interesting, I guess. I like the art. I mean, you can just see the, I guess, the more human side to his anger. He doesn't look so much as a beast. He's got, like, I don't know, you know, just more emotion in his face. Like, he's mad. I wonder if Volcanion will ever make a love. Don't, don't think he won't because people probably didn't think Mewtwo would ever evolve and look what happened. That, that, that's mine, not yours. Okay, so Steam Sage packs. Awesome. <sighs> okay. So that might have been a little choppy. Don't don't worry what just happened. Nothing happened that you didn't see. It just that was an accident. So the first thing I got was a Joltik. Then a fungus. So these are a lot of the you know the Pokemon in the Steam Sage Bergmite. Although I'm pretty sure Bergmite was a little newer, like X and Y. Mari, which I have, and it's holographic. A clink. Now here's a pretty neat looking card. A Mankey. He just, I mean, look at that face he's making. I mean, you know what I mean? He looks so cool. I really like this card on top of being holographic. Even though it's not strong or anything, it's still interesting. Plus, you can make your attack stronger with focus energy, so he doesn't suck that much. And a Hydrogen, which is pretty cool. Even though I don't really use Darker, darker Psychic, I mean... I, I, I mean, you know, it's holographic, I mean... It's still a cool card to own in your collection. Holographic Hydrogen. A Rapidash. Hmm. I got an old style fan art. I'd like to learn more about that fan art because I see it a lot on Generation 1 Pokemon and it's interesting. Uh, Steelix Spirit Link, which could come in handy later. I mean, my deck does kind of have opening for Steel. I mean, but then again, Steel isn't really needed in it, so I might not go that way. Depends. Pack Needle Press. Yeah, but I need a Needle Reno because I have a Needle King. Okay, another Steam Sage pack. Hopefully, I get another Holographic World Canyon. Oh, I got to help. But I do see some Holographic in there. It's a Clawwitzer. But Litwick. Okay, whatever. That card's not that good. Mari, which you've all probably seen a million times. Krogunk. Eh. Tangela. Slam. And I could actually use Clawitzer because he's water. Rufflet. Holographic Clawitzer. Mega Boost. That's pretty cool. His crab hatter ain't that bad. I mean, he's not the worst card to use. I mean, but he, he only has a little bit of HP. 
There's Toxic Croak. But look how weak he is. But he poisons people. You're okay. That's interesting, I guess, but not really useful. Clank. I don't know. This pack was okay. I mean, all in all, you know, I got Clawitzer, holographic. Then I got the Hydrogen, so those are pretty good finds. Let's see what we can find in Ancient Origins. Plus, when you redeem these online, you get different cards, so two surprises. I see a holographic trainer card in there. Slap and spinning attack. I, I don't think I have a ball toy. A Porygon. Not bad, and he's normal. And he can evolve three times, so if I get his other forms, I might use him. Considering you could search your deck. There's the Eevee, which is never useless, because, and you know, like, Eevee can evolve into so many different things, and you can put them in your deck. If it has dark energy attached to it, it does 20 more damage. That's cool. Really can't. Take down, deep sea, search. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Paint roller. Discard any stadium card and play, then draw a card. So that's good for getting rid of a stadium. I don't know if I would ever use it. It's very circumstantial. A Metagross. Which isn't my favorite card, but it's not bad to find in a pack. I mean, a Flareon, awesome. I kind of wanted one that wasn't Team Plasma. That's pretty cool. I, I like this card. Uh, a level ball. I need this. I'm glad I found this card. I use it online. It's really useful for helping you get those s Pokemon that have to evolve. And Sableye with his bewitching eyes. That's pretty crazy, bewitching eyes. If I had a dark deck, I would use them. I'd probably want to Mega Bulb them. Because do you see what bewitching eyes does? It takes the effect of a supporting card. That's that's intense. I like this card. Too bad I don't use dark tap. Another look at the Volcanian. Yeah, no matter what. Just as you can see it more. Its attacks kind of similar to Majorna's, except you can use it again with 130 damage versus being stuck at 60 with Majorna. Right off the bat, I get a Mudkip, which isn't bad. I like Mudkip. A Feebus, which isn't bad either, because I mean, I would like to have a Militic in my deck. Illumus. Yeah. Hippopotus. Tackle. Roll and tackle. Eh. Slugma. That's pretty cool if you're fighting a grass type. Lantern. Holographic. Not a bad look to it. Uh, no EX cards this time. <laughs> Diggers B. Eh, whatever. Wish Cash. I wanted this card. I'm just kidding, I didn't want this card. I just like Team Magma. And lastly, right on. This is Mr. Random Gamer here. Like and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.